with that noise. Good morning, good afternoon, uh, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to uh, Dumb SEO Questions, episode 333. Um, each week yeah, we meet here, we meet here to ask the answer the questions, I should say, asking, uh, um, oh dear me. And uh, we, we meet here to answer the questions asked on the uh, SEO questions or the dumb SEO questions Facebook group. I think I'm losing it, Tim. Um, all right, with us tonight we have David Rosam. David is a leading internet marketer based in West Sussex uh, on the southern side of the UK. Um, he can be found at uh, writingforseo.org and davidrosam.com. Masataki Wasa is webmaster of wasaweb.net. Uh, he's also a Google product expert on the AdSense community. He's based in Wimbledon. Uh, everybody here tonight is from the UK, except for me. Um, Masataki uh, um, can be found at wasaweb.net, W-A-S-A-W-E-B.net. Tim Kappa is uh, CEO of onlineownership.com. He's based in Corby, about 100 miles north of London. He's a Google product expert on the Google My Business community. We only have uh, four questions tonight, which is um, maybe a good thing. Um, the first one from Jason Chong, it's titled Location-Based Keywords. Jason said, I have been working on my website's uh, SEO factors and have noticed something odd with some location-based keywords. I see my rank swing wildly day to day and can, it can be up to uh, or down, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> 30 or 40 places without any edits. He said, I think I'm overall moving up on those particular keywords that they are higher competition as well as they are for my service uh, uh, in the city I am based rather than just a suburb. But it is really hard to tell with the volatility. These swings are consistent across various tools. They all report slightly different uh, positions as they would, uh, such as SEMtrush, AccuTracker and Bright Local. Can anyone help clarify for me why this is happening and uh, if it is something I should be concerned about? So, um, yeah, uh, local does fluctuate a lot. Um, as Michael said, you know, they're affected by holidays, seasons, local economies, blah, 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 blah. <coughs> <coughs> The other thing is is also you know your your trackers. Where are you tracking? So, are you tracking the suburb or the city? And a lot of them are also affected by, you know, sometimes uh, it may be searching from the other part of that city internally, externally. You know, these things massively fluctuate, especially because. A local search result is also highly dependent on um, the user's IP or actual geolocation in mobile. So yeah, these you know they they are not mass they they're not accurate um, in that sense um, until until you start getting you know into a position where you're hitting you know one or two and even when I'm consistently in sort of with with a client position one or position two you will still get the odd occasion where literally something has changed you know uh, recently for some weird reason google started incorporating a lot more yelp uh listings into some verticals and some service queries um which like decimated the other stuff organically so it all you know yeah you can have massive massive changes um so not only you know location based depending on where your trackers are set to be coming from and bear in mind they will generally always be coming from that location whereas something could change 
Um, Google occasionally changes the centroid. So if a search query is for a specific city, and so for example, let's say you were slightly to the east of that central of the city, and the majority and, and Google's majority of search results were originating on the eastern side of that city, uh, then you may have been sitting at position one, you know, between one and one and five, let's say. But now they've they've repositioned the centroid or the actual of the actual city, and it could be more north, south, or west. And therefore, your position either you know one to five now could be could be sitting um, slightly lower down because Google's understanding of that city has changed. So yeah, you know, it's always always fluctuating. There is nothing you know, no, no, nothing you know that that's going to sit you know, um, from month to month. Thank you, Tim. Also, I'd like to point out um, people who answer questions through the week uh, on the Dumb SEO Questions Facebook group, uh, people like Stockbridge uh, Truslow and Michael Martinez, Michael Stricker, Dave Elliott. Um, yeah, we, we really appreciate that. All right, have we covered this one? Will we move on to the next? Okay. This one from Neil Cheedsman. It's titled Similar Content Around the Same Thing. He said, uh, Neil said, uh, a slightly different dumb SEO question. Uh, what to do with similar content around the same thing, i.e., a theatre website has reviews of productions, i.e. Uh, a Phantom of the Opera, uh, over time, uh, brackets several years, reviews happen with different casts, uh, perhaps two, three or four, etc. But the titles generally are similar and compete with the same uh, search term, i.e. Uh, re uh, review of um, Phantom of the Opera. Um, how best to deal with the cannibalizing of the search term, add a year to the title or a uh, lead character in the title? Yeah. Um... Interesting. You know, I'm, I, I would be inclined to sit with a single page because if anybody links to it over time, that link will always be there. You don't have to worry about creating additional pages, canonic, you know, creating canonicals, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I would be inclined to use a single page phantom of the opera reviews and then as it updates each season with a new cast characters etc they are they go on the top um you can have uh you know uh, separated you know so it's clearly indicating what season it may be the cast and the crew or which production company is putting that one on and then you would have reviews uh, or, you know, uh, an intro, uh, critics reviews or whatever and things like that. And then you could then also, then obviously your pre-seasons follow on after that. Um, I, I, would, I would probably go with that. Um, it makes sense. Users can then, uh, you know, to me, users could then compare between different cars, different seasons, different production companies. Um, it could be interesting for them. I honestly am not entirely sure what a season theatre goer would be looking at. Probably they just want the top review. Um, but to me, that, that kind of would make sense. Um, but, you know, yeah. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I don't kind of really know what theatre goers would be looking at, you know, ardent theatre goers. So, 
I can't really comment. But for me, just in a, on a on an off the cuff, I would probably say I would stick to one. It's less it's less ball like, you know, managing all sorts of different stuff. You're literally just updating a one page each season. You still contain the other stuff for people to 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 view. Um, but of course, when someone gets there, boom, they can straight away see what the you know at the you know. Uh, you know, the top half of the page is straight away that season. It's the particular cast that's showing in the production company, et cetera, et cetera. For me, that kind of makes sense. But anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I, I, I usually um, see Michael Martinez's response and uh, love what he said. Um, but in this case, I think, yeah, you've nailed it, Tim, and, and, uh, and I can just visualise a page. Apparently, the, the Phantom of the Opera was first staged in 1986. Um, oh, that would be, what, 20, 34 years ago. So, yeah, it would make an interesting page to have uh, the different reviews of, of uh, the, the different productions. Uh, be something worthwhile okay let's um, move on to the next year unless anybody has, else has something to add okay yeah. this one from Aiden Kecker um, next things to do after on page SEO Aiden said I am a real estate agent wanting to rank my website for property slash real estate related terms for the overseas property market. I am not targeting US real estate terms. Let's say let's say I have the on-page SEO almost done. Um, what is my next step? Where should I start to look for good backlinks? Please advise solid sources or platforms that can help. Thanks. Uh, I see um, Richard Hearn um, has um, contributed. We've been missing Richard uh, recently. Um, I think it's a, a mistake to think about your on-page SEO being almost done. Um, your content is never done. Um, it's something that you you put up, you see how it goes. How, how, how does it perform? Are you getting the uh, the rankings you want? Are you getting the people you want to your site? Are they, are they inquiring about your real estate? Um, you need to come up with a, a strategy, which you obviously have done. You need to put your, your, you need to write your content and put it up and you need to measure um, what's happening, what's ranking and what isn't. Um, where, where are you lacking? Um, and then go back and write some more content or edit the content, as the case may be. Um, dodgy, dodgy looking for good backlinks. Um, we normally advise around here, and I think we're, we're normally in, uh, in agreement that your, your content should, uh, should attract links rather than go out trying to to buy links or to get uh, someone on fiverr to to build them for you um so um forget about your uh forget about your um buying or looking to get good bank backlinks and concentrate on getting the best content for your kind of real estate uh, that there is out there um your your rank well for the for the good content for the good quality content and you'll get links for the good quality content uh, so it goes hand in hand um so i wouldn't advise on any solid sources or platforms uh i don't think there are any fair enough um david all right, um, will we move on to the next? A shout out to Richard Hearn, we miss you, mate. All right, uh, let's um, 
go to number four in our run list. Uh, it's titled Removing Inact Inactive Pages from Neil Cheeseman, who asks uh, a dumb SEO question. Why should a website remove content that isn't visited for a year or more and has no backlinks? What harm um, to just leave it be? The point I'd make while you guys are deciding how to answer this one is that you know, what are people using to decide that, uh, you know, content that isn't visited for a year or more? Um, they're certainly not using their log files because their log files would show that, you know, the worst page in the world um, will be visited. Um, um, if only by uh, bots like uh, Majest... Uh, um, Majestic's, uh, I can't think of the name of um, Majestic's agent. Um, and uh, Googlebot, of course, um, will we'll, we'll visit those pages. Um, you know, I, I, if, if they're using something um, which, like, like Google Analytics, which only aggregates uh, information and, and gives you a, a, a sample, um, I think I think it's a, a dangerous thing to be removing content that might be uh, useful to you in some way. What about you, you guys? Do you do you uh, agree with that thought? I, I, th I think the, the 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 advice is often often to see whether you have any traffic to it, any uh, any internal visits to it. Um, so on and so forth. Um, I, which I, I guess is a fairly easy thing to do. You can get hold of some data, you can stick it in a spreadsheet, and you can filter on those things that don't, um, and then you can go off and delete them. Uh, whether you do 301 redirects or not is a is slightly another uh, conversation. Um, but I, I tend to look at it from a different point of view, which is. Uh, and I think it's it, well, it's one that comes up in the uh, community answers, which is, does it have any value? Um, if it's out of date, uh, then um, and or wrong, um, delete it, get rid of it, or update it. It, it. It's really up to you what you feel is best for your for your readers. Um, if it's a huge site, I, su I suppose it might uh, uh, it, 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 uh, it, it might um, it, it might uh, uh, swallow some of your crawl budget. Um, but the you know the real thing is, does it actually help um, the people come to your site? Uh, it doesn't really matter to me if it hasn't been touched for for a while, or it doesn't look as if it's been touched for a while, if it's still valid, I'm inclined to, to, to leave it there. Yeah. Anybody else? And um, it looks like it's that time again. We've answered... Uh, all of the questions uh, asked on the SEO, the dumb SEO questions group on Facebook. Uh, I'd like to extend our thanks to people like David Kutcher and Michael Martinez who uh, answered this particular question, uh, Jeremy Knopf uh, also, um, and thank um, the others uh, who contributed. Uh, um with uh, quick answers um uh, immediate answers i should say uh, um on the the dumb seo questions facebook group through the week also i'd like to thank um david rosam masataki wasa and uh, tim kappa for uh, their um, work uh, this week in um uh, fronting up and, and, and reviewing uh, every question. Um, we'll be back at the same time next week. 
um, uh, to do this uh, all again, but uh, for now, if I can find the right uh, part, um, for now, it's good night. Uh, and uh, thank you very much.